Hi, I'm Adam Drake from Yugen CQ Racing. Today I'm gonna to go over the items that I keep in my pit bag. I'll show you a little bit of a closer look and I'll explain the reason why I have these specific items in my pit bag at all times for nitro racing. So here we have laid out the items that I like to keep in my pit bag. Uh, there's a couple options as far as uh, the fuel stick and fuel gun, um, but I'm going to kind of go over each of these items one by one and explain why I feel it's important to have them in your pit bag. I will also touch base a little bit on my pit bag. It's a Craftsman bag. Uh, Mugen, Flashpoint, Protec all make really, really nice uh, pit specific bags. I use this bag just because I travel a lot on a plane and I'm able to put parts boxes and things like that and it has a little bit more of a uh, supported um, kind of outer frame so it kind of keeps my uh, parts boxes in better shape when traveling. So I'm going to start with the starter box. I use Mugen starter box. I have the Flashpoint starter box mounts on there. It's always a really, really good idea and really important to have your starter box set up to where it's easy for anyone to use. Most of us aren't fortunate enough to have the same pit guy all the time, and you want to make sure that your buggy and truck are able to just drop on the box without having to know kind of the, the special way it needs to be pushed or twisted um, to start, and the flashpoint mounts really help with that. The next thing is I always have two glow igniters in my, in my pit bag. I like to have one in the front pouch, a second one in the side. And the reason for that is glow igniters always tend to kind of grow legs, walk off, get lost, dropped in the dirt. And if you ever have a problem or need to refire, you gotta have a glow igniter. So always like to have two just as uh, second one as a backup. Next is a wheel wrench. I use the Flashpoint magnetic wheel wrench. I like to, again, keep that right in the front pouch. That way, if you have a tire change or anything like that, it's easy to access and uh, right there in front of you. Also, I tend to uh, always keep four or five body clips clipped to that same front pouch um, it's kind of ine inevitable at some point you're going to get hit or body clips going to shoot off. And the last thing you want to do is be scrambling, trying to find one. I always just make sure I have one right there on the, on the pit bag. Obviously a tuning screwdriver so you can make adjustments before, um, or during the race if needed. Next is a stopwatch. Super important. You know, guys like to always complain, say, oh, the announcer didn't call the time. What time is it? But it's not really, uh, you know, up to the announcer to keep track of your pit stops. So everyone's on different pit strategies. Having your own stopwatch, keep your own time will just help keep uh, keep those pit stops within within your range. Next are spare glow plugs. Now the standard packaging can be a pain if you're trying to change a glow plug in a hurry. So I just use a um, Mugen premium grease um, little little tube and that uh, makes it easier to access my glow plugs. A glow plug wrench. Uh, kind of for the same reason as the two glow igniters, I always like to keep two fuel bottles a um, couple reasons. For one, longer races, you need more than one fuel bottle. Sometimes you have post-race tech, so you need extra fuel. And also just fuel bottles, you know, they get lost, knocked over. Um, it's just always nice to make sure you have plenty of fuel to get you through the race. Next would be a Proline fuel stick or a more traditional uh, fuel gun. Um, Fuel stick makes it super fast for refueling. It's actually cleaner and more consistent than using a fuel bottle. 
some people are a little afraid of a fuel gun or fuel stick because they say it, it fuels the vehicle too fast and can cause it to flame out. Typically, it's not caused by the fuel gun or fuel stick. It's, it's because the engine's out of tune or because you're revving the engine during the pit stop. Um, it's actually, like I said, a more consistent, cleaner way to fuel your vehicle during pit stops. The last thing would be a engine heater. And I don't always keep this in my bag, but especially when we're racing at night, um, it's always nice just to keep a little bit of extra heat in the head. That way, when you're kind of thrown out there for the start of uh, warm up or the race, uh, the engine's fully up to operating temperature and you're able to optimize your track time. So those are the items that I always like to keep in my pit bag. Now I'm going to go over kind of, uh, I guess you would say like some option items um, that could be good to keep in your bag. But again, these, these are the things that I always make sure I keep in my bag. You don't want it to be like too cluttered. If, if you have all these option things and all the, the items that I feel are required in your bag, it can be cluttered, it can be hard to find things, and can just be a little bit more chaos if you have problems during a race. With that being said, we're gonna move on to the optional items. And with these standard items, I always kinda of like to make sure everything has its own place. So the wheel wrench always goes in this first pocket, glow igniter here, spare glow igniter there, glow plugs there, and then glow plug wrench on this far end. Okay, so here we have some of the optional items that you also may want to consider keeping in your pit bag. The first one being a car stand. Uh, most races in the U.S., I wouldn't say you would want a car stand or need a car stand, but some of the international races, you're not allowed to take your starter box out of pit lane. So when it's time to start a race and you have to cross the straightaway, go to grid the cars, you need something to support the car. Uh, when refueling before the race goes off. So sometimes you want to have a car stand. Next would be glue. Never know what could happen. Uh, something strips out, falls off, and you know maybe you need to squirt a little glue on there just to, uh, to secure it. From there we have some zip ties. Again, don't know if something pops off, falls off, you lose an air filter, um, you know, zip ties. They're kind of like duct tape, you know, you can, you can use them to uh, kind of piece things back together. A microfiber rag um, doesn't need to be super clean. This is just in case uh, if in warm up they water the track and it's a little muddy. Uh, you can have your mechanic kind of wipe off your body. That way it looks nice to start the race. Uh, spare wheel nuts. That way if you forgot to tighten, tighten your wheels before going out for warm up, you lose a wheel nut. Um, it's not a bad idea to have one of those in your bag. Temp gun. Uh, I'm sure this is something people are a little surprised that I don't consider one of the items that is kind of a must-have. For me, I don't really tune my engines uh, to temp. Um, I tune them to feel and sound, and it's always good to temp your engines just as reference, but I don't really think it's something that's required. Um, typically, I'll use a temp gun more when the engine is new or just when you're kind of dialing in and getting the tune. But by the time you're racing, um, you know, your tune should be pretty close. And at that point, I'm not really too concerned uh, with what the actual temperature is. Also, these temp guns are expensive. And a lot of times when they're in your bag, the bags can get knocked over, dropped, stuff can get lost or misplaced. Next item would be your tools. Um, set of needle nose pliers and then a full set of Allen drivers and nut drivers. Um, the reason why I don't keep these in my pit bag at all times is just because it can kind of make it cluttered. Typically for qualifying, if you have something fall off or come loose, your race is pretty much done anyway. Um, for a main event, it's not a bad idea to have more of a, a set of tools like this in your bag. That way, again, it's a longer race. 
if something does go wrong, you maybe kind of uh, eliminated yourself the opportunity to win the race, but you can maybe salvage a good finish by being able to get your car fixed and get back out onto the track a little quicker.